Welcome back to Maintenance Monday with me, Sandy, and my Skyline motor. Apparently, we've got a new videographer because our presenter was sh so we replaced that. Um, welcome back to Maintenance Monday. I, today, will be talking to you about RTV, gasket maker, the red goop that gets on all your clothes and won't ever come out. I forgot to put the pickup back in my sump, so we're going to go over sealing the sump with RTV and a couple other applications of RTV that could be useful. I think the first thing to do, flip this over, get the sump off and put the pickup back on. So let's get stuck in. <laughs> okay. What is that? She's flipped. We got the sump. I'm going to get a 10, 10 on a zap zap. Why is the 10 out? 10. Oh my god. Let's go. Before we can go ahead and do anything, I've got the sump off and it's important to make sure that the mating area of the two surfaces is clean. Now I've already sealed this sump up once before with some RTV. So there's a couple little bits still left on there and some oil that I'm gonna clean up with a bit of brake cleaner and some elbow grease. There's a couple ways you could take the old RTV off. I like to start with a razor blade, getting the larger parts off, moving to a bit of Scotch-Brite or emery paper, just sanding down the surface, making sure it's all smooth and clean. For the bigger parts, some surfaces, particularly on sumps, may have a groove for the RTV to sit in. A wire wheel on the drill always helps, but use it lightly, you don't want to damage the surface. Once you've got it all off, a quick spray with some brake clean, cleaning the surface. All right, so with the pickup on, we've placed the new O-ring in there, I've tightened it up. Jumping into the sump, I'm going to apply some RTV to that side. This is the Permatex Red RTV Gasket High Temp 81160. Available at your local sparesbox.com.au. Now RTV comes in a couple different variants. This one is the High Temp because I'm using it on the engine of course. There's a multi-purpose one as well as a coolant and fuel safe one. Make sure you get the right one for your application otherwise it will, it will leak, you'll have a bad time. Application process is quite simple. You kind of want to, you kind of want to, no, I'm not going to kind of want to, I'm going to tell you how this is going to happen. Application process is simple. You want a small bead, you want a small bead through the center of the surface. You're then going to smear it with your finger later on, but we'll get to that. Once you've gone all the way around, you probably only want about two or three mils of gasket on there anymore, and you're going to have gasket maker everywhere. Now remember, this stuff doesn't come off very easy, so don't wear good clothes. I um, highly recommend wearing a pair of gloves. I sadly don't have any on, any on hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna brave the, uh, my, my videographer's pointing to a pair of gloves over there that are too nice. They're too nice to wear, but I think we're gonna do it anyway for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pop some gloves on and get to it. You're then going to smear your finger across once, flattening out the bead and making it nice and even across the whole surface. You're then going to take your fingernail and if you're like me and don't have any, this step is super simple. You're going to take off a couple mil from the edge of the surface. What this prevents is any gasket maker going into your sump or into your engine and also too much coming out the other side. The last thing you want is gasket maker everywhere. Mating the two surfaces together is quite simple. You want to line up the holes. Be sure not to push it around too much. You'll end up with it everywhere again. Once you've got your two mating surfaces together, you're going to want to check the back of your RTV packet as different brands have different curing times. Ours is a 24 hour curing time, which means we're not going to put any fluids or liquids in the motor until that is done. Now my next step is to come back tomorrow, wait for this to cure, and then the job is done. If you want to find out more about this RV20 build in front of me, or pick up some gasket maker for yourself, head over to spares, that was so good, but I further to further, head over to sparesbox.com.au.